Welcome to Techie Jack. In this video, we are going to see how to configure cluster aware updating and how to apply updates on cluster with cluster aware updating. Cluster aware updating is installed automatically when you install failover cluster role with management tools. So let's go to the server and get started. So right now we are on our server. If we have a look on our server manager, you can see everything is green. So there is no error on our server manager. Let me close this and let's go to the failover cluster manager. Here you can see the name of the cluster is storage cluster and I have a file share witness on this machine. So let's see the role. I have a two roles like virtual machine and Hyper-V replica. So if we go to the nodes, we have a two nodes, node one and node two. They both are up right now. If we go to the storage and see the pool, you can see the virtual disk the virtual disks are healthy and if we go and check with the physical disk they are also healthy if we right click on this storage cluster and go to the more action and here we select the cluster aware updating you can see it is connected to the storage cluster if we analyze the cluster updating you can see the result everything is passed and we have a one thing here which shows as a warning so let me see that the machine proxy on each failover cluster node should be set to the local proxy server we can ignore this because we are not using a local proxy server to connect the internet so we can ignore this let me close this and now let's go to the configure cluster self updating option click on next and here i will select enable self updating mode and i will select it as monthly and in the next option I will keep it as a default and will proceed here I will check the box like give me recommended updates for the same way I receive important updates click on apply so you can see configure self updating option success enable self updating mode success let's now go to the preview update for this cluster you can generate the preview list and here you can see the security update so let's apply these updates to the cluster click on next and this is the command which will run just click on update and you can see the schedule immediate update on self updating mode is success let me close this and you can see the node 1 is waiting and node 2 is scanning for the updates if you go to the roles you can see the right now machine is running on node 1 so that's why it is waiting it is not applying the update to the node 1 node 2 is scanning and it is succeeded now it's scanning for update on the node 1 it's downloading the update installing it now scanning for other update and it is succeeded it has been updated if we go to the update summary you can see the date at 12 11 pm if restart is required it will drain the workload to another machine and will restart the machine and then it will move back the workload to the restarted machine and will perform the restart on another machine to avoid the downtime i hope the video was informative let's meet in a next video thanks for watching if you enjoy this video and want to see more don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell icon to get notified whenever i post new content